Welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video, we're going to go over some background information that you will need to know to successfully complete the sentence protein synthesis activity. The first thing you're going to need is a handout, which is shown here. This activity is going to model transcription and translation. The main thing you want to focus on is the protein synthesis worksheet found in the back of your packet. So let's take a close look at this worksheet. Each group is going to have three people. One person is going to play the role of the mRNA person, one person will play the role of a translator, and one person will play the role of the tRNA person. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the table that contains the DNA template cards. These blue cards represent a gene, and these cards have the information to make a specific amino acid sequence, which makes a specific protein. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pick one of the 16 DNA template cards and write the number on your student protein synthesis worksheet. Once you've done that, the mRNA person will transcribe the DNA code into a messenger RNA code. Notice that it says do not just copy the DNA template. You are modeling transcription where the DNA code is actually copied by making a messenger RNA code. So that takes place in step one. Once you have the messenger RNA code you take it back to your lab station and the translator does step two. The mRNA is broken into three base pairs that make up codons. So the translator will figure out the anticodons that match with the codons from step one. Remember the anticodon is found on the tRNA so you need to use the RNA base pairing rules. Then the last step is translation. The third person, the tRNA person, will actually go around the room and find the cards that have the correct anticodons on them. The cards represent a transfer RNA and contain the anticodon. When you find the correct anticodon, you open up the card and the top word will be part of the sentence sequence or the word sequence and the bottom word will be an amino acid which goes in the amino acid sequence box. I will now walk you through one of these so you get a really good idea of the process and you can deepen your understanding of protein synthesis. You start by the first person, the mRNA person, taking the sheet to the DNA table and choosing one of the blue DNA template cards. In this example I've chosen template card number six. That card contains a DNA code, but you do not just copy the DNA template in step one. The mRNA person needs to transcribe the DNA code into the messenger RNA code. That is shown here. The next step, you take the worksheet back to the lab station, and the next translator person figures out the anticodons which match with the messenger RNA codons which were just created in step one. Notice how the codon UAG is matched with the anticodon AUC and so on. So step two creates anticodons that are complementary to the codons on the messenger RNA. The last step translation, the tRNA person goes around the room and finds the tRNA cards that have the anticodons to match their specific sequence. In this case it starts with AUC 
which on the inside of the card says start and start. So that is written in the word sequence and the amino acid sequence. The next anticodon, CUU, has a card that says all and glutamic acid. And you continue finding the tRNA cards with the anticodons and putting down the specific word sequence and amino acid sequence based on that code. This process should help you get a better understanding of protein synthesis, which is how cells use the information in a gene to make a specific protein during transcription and translation. I hope that helps you stay comfortably seated on the biotrain.